Hello Virgos, I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading for January 10th through the 16th for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I'll be using the Celtic Crow spread, whatever the universe wants you to know for this time frame, please. What is going on with Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, please? Mercury in Taurus, Five of Pentacles. There's someone here that feels they're lacking something. We'll see. Okay, the overall situation. Okay, we're starting strong here. We'll see. Is the Tower. The Ten of Wands. The Ace of Swords. Here we have the other half here as well. Mars in Scorpio, Five of Cups. Okay, the Three of Swords is what you're thinking, Virgo. What's going on with guys? What's going on with you? Ten of Swords, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. We're going to clarify. Seven of Swords. Okay, a lot of Swords and the Hanging Man. There is a potential for love here. There's someone that has been working hard trying to get, you know, from this lacking, maybe financial for some of you, partnership, um, something that you wanted to put effort and build. Okay, the tower, the situation with the tower here, because this is whatever is going on, it's all about the plot here with the tower. Something has to come to the surface, maybe some type of sudden events, maybe, you know, even it can be internal here because there is a truth. At the root of this, we're talking about some type of harsh truth or a breakthrough of some kind, making a decision that has, you know, kind of, you know, pining here in the past. There's been regret, loss, Scorpio energy, both of these are Aries, but I'm getting this tower has to do with what it is that needs to be unburdened here because the Ten of Wands is challenging this. It's like someone that feels like I am at my limit. I cannot go anymore here. I feel exhausted, tired, Saturnian energy, Sagittarius, by the way. It's like with Saturn, it's always delays, but always there's an accomplishment at the end. And that's for the Ten of Wands. It is an, some type of completion here, some type of journey, but I feel like it has to do with the turmoil here. It's like, what has been piling? Can I continue this? Can I go on with this? I just have to open up. I have to say something. I have to break through this, especially Virgo, because look at how you see yourself with the eight of swords is like my thoughts here like you know are kind of you know keeping me a jail mentality or keeping me trapped it's like i have all these things i just nothing is coming through here i need in a way the tower is the breakthrough that you need this ace of swords you want to express yourself you want to cut through all of these thoughts and you know I feel like a nervousness in a way here because you're thinking of heartbreak. In your mind, you're thinking of separation. You're thinking of interferences. You're thinking of disappointment. But this Ace of Swords is like the truth, the clarity of what cannot be contained anymore. What cannot, like, I don't want to restrict. I don't want to resist. Whatever, you know, has been built here for some time and it's now it's not working anymore it needs to come down it can be an epiphany it can be a realization but that means as something else here has to you know come down habits thoughts it's like a volcanic rash it's just an eruption here of whatever has been kind of held back this is i feel like it's something pushing or the upheaval here that you have to go but the, this is like can i go one step more here can i hold on to this how can I unburden myself and open up? Again, I want to leave this loss, this grief. There's something with the regret of the past. And if this is not you, this is the person you're dealing or situation, you will know. Uh, but your thoughts are about painful uh, situation here, heartbreak, disappointment. We will see when we clarify. The immediate things is that 
I don't want to hold on to this anymore. The Ten of Swords can be a disappointment, can be scars that are, you know, are still kind of affecting you. But it is an ending. It is a necessary ending. It is like someone is like, I don't want to think of, of this anymore. Maybe I'm just realizing that, you know, it's it's necessary here to let go. Will you? We'll see. But that's the immediate situation. This may be your person. Again, you feel trapped. What you don't see external to you, they may be mirroring you as well. Someone here is also feeling, um, they may be seeing you as well this way, but also they feel like these nightmares, constant thinking, I cannot stop. They're not even a Ten of Swords yet. They're like continuously here thinking of this situation. You're trying to avoid the tower. I don't know if you're fearing that someone is, you know, playing this hide and seek or avoiding this, um, you know, upheaval, but that's the Seven of Swords is like, can I hold back? Can I get away without causing all of this situation? I'm getting a confession as well. Um, but the Seven of Swords is what you are uh, thinking about that feels trapped. Like, can I get away with it? What is the next step? Is someone hiding? Is like secrets here being reve revealed or uh, things that have been avoided too long cannot be avoided anymore? The Hanging Man is that if you block this tower, this opening up, is saying that there's more waiting here saying that okay let's let's continue it can also mean for some of you here how about i see it from a different perspective how about i don't see it as you know this destructive thing this chaos this painful ending how about i look at it differently there's an idealization here there's a kind of self uh, sacrificing energy with that let's see let's see what's going on I've gotten for the rest of uh, you know the signs um, very happy cards but I feel like sometimes these are necessary too to pass through any crisis because the tens are representing to you guys some type of ending and it, if it is necessary it will uh, be a blessing in disguise but let's see what the clarifiers have to say What is the tower here about? I feel like they wanted like you see someone here feels like I want to rush in. I want change. I want to take action impulsively, carelessly. I just want to go towards the situation. Tell me about yeah. I guess this one is come here. I'm getting movement, necessary movement from the the situation that doesn't work for you anymore. Let me get another one. What is the tower here about, please? One more. Remember the five of pentacles? Do you have two knights here? Someone wants to take action towards the person, move forward, leave that chaos behind, but there's a fear of neglect. I was like, what if I'm being rejected? What if I go through financial difficulties? What if I'm... You know, someone is not reciprocating this. It's all about actions towards a person here that has love. But it's coming with a high cost here or some type of things that need to be revealed that someone has been avoiding for some time. What is this Ten of Wands, please, that is crossing this? It's like I want to unburden myself here. One more. Oh my God, the Ten of Wands. Someone is tired of holding on to something that does not function anymore. One more. Yeah. This has been contemplated, waiting for some time. There's someone that is not satisfied with the current uh, situation and it's becoming too much to bear. We're gone. It's like, can I live in this superficiality? Can I always live in fear? Or what do I need to let go of? Is contemplation regarding someone here that uh, has had enough. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, please. This is a breakthrough to me. It's just a breakthrough and a different angle, looking at the situation from a different perspective. 
like an awakening. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. One more. Yep, it's communication that will open here the door to new love for some of you or to love. It's like the potential, two aces. Getting someone needs to unburden themselves, confess. That's, that's what I'm getting. It's like charging in towards this situation. Someone, again, that has been pining. There's this, you know, past love, pining situation going on. Someone is heartbroken. Tell me about um, the Five of Cups, please. Tell me about the Five of Cups, please. One more. Someone has been watching, waiting for some type of news, feeling at loss. I'm getting that it's like someone here, I want to get this off my chest. I, I've been thinking about you. I regret how things were handled uh, for some of you here, how I said certain things. But I'm getting that someone has uh, been watching, keeping tabs and um, feeling at loss. Yeah, there's still hope here though. There's still hope. Why you have the Three of Swords? Why you have the Three of Swords in your thoughts here, please? Or what you see possible? One more. There you are again with the Eight of Swords. You're overthinking all of this and you feel like no matter what, what keeps you you know, in this situation is because there's some type of pain or disappointment or heartbreak. And this is what keeps you stuck from, you know, communicating, opening up, or you feel like someone here is not going to open up. What is this about, please? One more. The Hierophant and Taurus energy. There may be something here about you're losing faith or commitment issues here um, with you and your person, with the high priest. Is it because of, you know, someone's uh, traditional values or belief or, you know, marriage? Is it for some of you are going through a divorce? No matter, that's a hard uh, situation here because I'm getting separation or I'm getting uh, disappointment of... Of commitment here a foundation is not working or someone here cannot keep this any longer but feels like in the end what if this just you know nothing happens there because someone has d uh, different beliefs there's marriage for some of you here that is keeping you and this person stuck what is this Ten of Swords, guys? Tell me about the Ten of Swords, please. One more. This Eight of Wands has been coming a lot. It's just someone here feels like the ending of communication or the ending of... It's like disappointment regarding thoughts here that are not moving fast enough or things are not going spontaneously here. I'm getting that someone um, is coming here with, okay, I guess this is not happening. What is this? It's just negative thinking regarding communication. One more. Guys, I mean, I like the clarifications here. This is the ending of whatever um, you feel trapped. I'm, I'm getting Jupiter. I'm getting Sagittarius here. Mercury in Sagittarius and Jupiter. This is like, okay, things are going to turn around. Um, there's change here. Let's get one more. Maybe you have to let go of whatever is in the past. Let the fear and open up. Tell me about this. Ten of Swords, Eight of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. One more. The King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius. For some of you, I'm getting strong Sagittarius. You don't have to, you know, be with this sign or look the Three of Swords 
and the five of cups this is someone that is heartbroken wants to come forward here wants to change whatever has happened wants to leave negative thinking behind wants to open up wants to break through whatever happens happens but i'm getting that someone is stuck in a situation here that they feel is coming with pain separation disappointment but this king of wands wants to change things wants to come optimistically wants to communicate wants to be passionate without fearing um that they will be rejected that's that's the immediate situation that is coming towards you why the eight of swords here please I don't do reversal, so I'm going to get the Ten of Swords here. Someone that is getting out of that painful situation. What is the Eight of Swords? One more. Okay. Why can't you just be spontaneous? Why can't you just talk? Why can't you just go into this situation without feeling stuck? You're overthinking it. We have a lot of good messages here. We have a lot of um, communication going on. But you feel blocked. What is this? One more. Okay, yes. The devil. Virgo. Do you want this? Again, this page of wands is just... very adventurous it's just someone feels like I, I feel excited about this situation i just want to go towards this um but you feel stuck there's obsessive thinking there's entrapment here there's fear there's codependencies it's like you're not allowing yourself to be free towards this situation when it comes to this person communicate and open up it's just you constantly think about them but you feel trapped to communicate with them. Yeah, there's this. We have the Queen of Pentacles with the Ten of Cups. So definitely there is that um, content, bliss, but something stops you. What is the Nine of Swords here, please, externally? What's going on with the Nine of Swords? Oh my God, the Three of Swords wanted to come out. You guys are mirroring each other. I'm going to look at this. Look. The Ace of Pentacles with the Lovers and the Five of Swords. An opportunity here to bring you two together that is coming with a lot of conflict. Your person as well is very much um, heartbroken, disappointed, constantly thinking about this emotional withdrawal. They want a chance here. They want an opportunity. But there's conflict. There's pride. There's... Um, with the five of swords there's a certain sense of resentment as well it's like who's gonna win will i be rejected but your person is i feel like you both mirror each other they want this as well they feel heartbroken tell me about the nine of um, the nine the seven of swords here why you have the seven of swords in your hopes and fears One more. Something needs to come to the surface here, Virgo. Karma, judgment. What has been hiding? What has been avoiding for a second chance? I don't know if you feel like this person is not going to open up or uh, you're fearing that or you're hoping finally someone stops, you know, hiding. Again, you have gotten, I feel like, the conce concealment and hiding feelings. I feel like for the last few readings that I've done for you guys, there's something that is about to not anymore be contained I feel like it's every week. I feel like someone is ready to open up. But that karma, that judgment with the seven of swords is like no matter what you avoid, something that has to come to the surface here. The truth, first of all, both of those are speaking about deception and truth. Self-deception, avoidance, what has been, again, does not work anymore with that tower, whatever has been built. Something, again, that pretending here keep big building on that it's not going to do anything you know on a foundation that does not work anymore and there's something else that you're waiting for what is the hanging man here please what is the hanging man please 
one more. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to take my sweet time here and look at this. Actions will be taken. Yeah, something that has been waiting for some time. Now, are you going to charge in like you want here? No. I feel like after this is like you're going to look, you or your person, going to look at this uh, in a different way. Wait here of when, you know, when is the appropriate time to take action. That's how I see. Patiently waiting. Best possible outcome. Why? Because as I mentioned, there's a fear here. There's someone that is burdened but not really ready to act quickly. What is this hanging man, please? One more. Yep, there's the Leo energy, the strength card. More waiting. As someone is planning here, there takes a lot of bravery with the strength card. There's a lot of willpower, but I feel like someone is not ready to make that big jump. You may be pushed or you may be feeling all of this um, energy here of wanting change force change here um, but the potential it says that someone here is going to look at it from different perspective and kind of take their own time um, of how to act i'm really hoping this resonates with you guys i appreciate all of you thank you so much bye bye